Welcome to the Husky Alley Show. I'm Lauren the Mew. And I'm Jacob Thorpe. And we're here inside of Alaska Airlines Arena. Now tonight, the Huskies broke their four-game losing streak. That's right, Lauren. They had a close 96-92 win with plenty of highlights. Let's get right to them. Senior guard Abdul Gaddy scored first for the Huskies with this reverse layup just 10 seconds into the contest. Sean Kemp Jr. got the first two of his career high 16 points on this thunderous throwdown early in the first half, bringing the score to 9-7. On their next possession, Desmond Simmons showing off his range with this deep ball to put the Huskies up five with 12.07 on the clock. Redshirt freshman Andrew Andrews got into scoring action, muscling his way through the contact for the and one play, putting the UW up 19-8 with 14-18 left in the first. ASU freshman phenom Jahai Carson answered right back with this bucket. He led all scores with 32. With 11.15 left, Andrews again draws contact for the three-point play, bringing the Huskies lead to 26-17. Then Aziz Njai followed this huge block with nearly identical baskets for the Dogs, the second of which gave the UW a 13-point lead with 9.31 left to play in the first half. But ASU proved they would not go quietly with some sharp shooting from Carrick Felix and Gilling followed by this monster jam from Bachinski to cap a 10-4 Sun Devil run. After Chris Colvin cut the UW lead to four with four minutes left, Andrews got the crowd out of their seats with this one-handed dunk on the fast break. Huskies up 45-37. And Kemp came through with two more, and the dogs would head into the locker room, leading the Sun Devils by a score of 52-44. to Kemp got the Huskies going to start the second half with this layup, pushing the UW up by 10. C.J. Wilcox finally got one to fall, keeping ASU behind 58-48. Seven-footer Njai, just a beast on the low block tonight. Grabbed the offensive board off the miss and puts it back for the and one finish. 16-40 left to play. ASU fought back with a couple buckets of their own, one from Felix and one from Gilling. Sun Devils trailed by nine. UW would keep ASU at bay, though, behind two baskets from Njai and Kemp, and led 69-54 with just under 14 minutes on the clock. From there, the Sun Devils launched a furious comeback, courtesy of Carson and Gilling from downtown, cutting their deficit to 69-61. Andrews continued to put on a show for the crowd, slicing and dicing his way to the cup for yet another three-point play. Huskies up by 11 now. The three-point barrage continued for ASU as Gilling again lines up and hits from three. With the lead at six, Wilcox finds the bottom of the net. Dogs up ten with five minutes left. Two minutes later, the Sun Devils hit another one from beyond the arc. Now down just one with 3-12 remaining. With the UW ahead 84-83, it's Simmons getting to the hole through the foul and sank the free throw to put the dogs up by four. Following a Carson three-pointer, it's Suggs with the crossover, the J, and yes. Huskies up 89-86, just one minute and 13 seconds away from closing out Arizona State. But Gilling silenced the roaring crowd with another tray, bringing ASU within one with a minute left. However, the Huskies got another bucket from Aziz as he corralled the miss by Suggs and went right back up for the three-point play, bringing the score to 92-89, Huskies in the lead. After two Wilcox free throws, Carson again for three. Huskies up by two with 14 seconds left. Carson then looked to tie the game but was met by a brick wall and missed the floater. ASU's intentional foul put Wilcox on the line and Wilcox, cool as a cucumber, knocks down both to put the Huskies up for good 96-92 ending their four-game losing streak and sending the crowd home happy from Alaska Airlines Arena. All right, and we're back. Now, the Huskies came out with the win tonight, but it did get close at one point there. With one minute left on the clock, the score was tied at 89, but the Huskies showed great offensive composure tonight, and they kept it together to pull out the win. That's right, Lauren. The Huskies couldn't have done it without a big breakout game from Sean Kemp Jr. The sophomore finished with 18 points and really gave them a presence down low. He and Aziz Njai, their center, combined to shoot 16 of 22, and that really just opened up a whole new dimension for the Huskies' offense. They were hitting hook shots, they were putting in dunks, and that's what allowed the Huskies to score so many points because it really opened up things for the guards to have two really effective low post scorers. The big man in the middle was huge tonight in more ways than one. The last play, the block, the big free throw, it's seven of eight. He just did a tremendous job. He's 
So glad we have him. Yeah, and let's not forget about Andrew Andrews. He was the Huskies' leading scorer tonight with 20 points. He showed great ball control, driving it to the hole. He got a couple and ones, and he also was 6 for 6 on his free throws. That's right, Lauren. It all would have been for naught except for the Huskies' free throw shooting. They hit 21 of 22, and for a program that's really struggled to shoot foul shots lately, it really made the difference tonight. That's right, the Huskies are going to need to continue to hit those free throws next Thursday when they take on UCLA at 6 p.m. in Los Angeles. For Jacob, I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.